Hey guys, Dominic here. Today I want to show you how it is like to be a PhD student here in Tokyo. I'm currently a student at the University of Tokyo for already two years. Today is going to be pretty busy. Uh, I also have a deadline at 12, so I really have to hurry up to finish my assignment. First I'm going to make some breakfast and then I will join my first meeting of today. In Japan, doing your PhD does not take as many years as in other countries. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering, so in my case it is going to take around 3 years. Uh, thank you everyone. Goodbye. So I just finished the first meeting of today. It's a book reading meeting where we go through one of the machine learning books and just go chapter by chapter. Uh, the group is very international, so we had like three Japanese students, three Chinese students I think, and also one Indian student and one German. I will also move now to my main setup with my second monitor. I only have two hours left to finish my task, so I'm a bit worried about that, but uh, hopefully I will make it before the deadline. My research is about applying machine learning to mechanical engineering problems. Right now, I'm writing a scientific paper which is hopefully going to get published until the end of the year. Okay, so now it's 12 o'clock. I just barely passed the deadline and could upload in time. But yeah, of course I shouldn't have prepared earlier. Okay, so I finished my morning assignment. It's now around 12.30. So I'm getting a lunch right now. So usually I would cook, but um, today I don't have so much time. So I'm just going to get a bento from the supermarket. Let's go outside. So I'm headed now to the supermarket to get some groceries and my lunch. Because of COVID, everything is online anyways. And I have to say I'm a bit more of a lucky guys concerning it because I can do my PhD completely online. I don't have to do experiment work or have to go to university necessarily. But I think I'm pretty lucky they can do everything from home. So I'm finally back. It's so humid outside in Tokyo in summer. It's insane. Like you go out and after five seconds you're already sweating. It's pretty bad. Anyway, so I got some drink. Salty light lychee drink from the supermarket. And I also have some stomaki. I mean, it looks really, it's really similar to Korean kimbap, but like slightly different. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have my lunch now and watch some Netflix. Okay, so I just finished lunch, so let's go back to studying. Mm. 
I am in my second year, so I almost have no lectures left. My main job now is doing research and supporting bachelor and master students in our lab. So I'm taking a short break now. So yeah, I'm gonna do the laundry and then I have Japanese lesson next. I have an internship coming up next month, so I'm gonna practice a little bit my Japanese skills. I have JLPT N1, but um, business Japanese is quite hard, so Kego, learning Kego is really difficult. So yeah, I'm gonna brush up a little bit my Kego skills and hopefully have some fun while doing it. Ah, So welcome to this week's uh, machine learning meeting. Uh, hopefully everyone gives some comments, some feedback and you can ask any questions or say anything completely freely. So yeah, please, please give your feedback. Okay, then, uh, yeah, thank you everyone for coming today. And yeah, I will update you per mail. All right, goodbye everyone. So it is 6.40 now, which means my work is over. Like usually I work from 9 to 6.30 ish, so like nine and a half hours, including one like 30 minute break. So yeah, so now it's time to prepare the dinner. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.